in uh, working on your books on the history of comics and many things you've done since then, you have interviewed, even aside from the people you've worked with directly, you have interviewed, you have met, you've spoken with so many people, fascinating people throughout the industry. Who really stands out in your minds as the ones who need to be better known? I, w I would really lay that on, on one particular guy, Bill Finger. Bill Finger created Batman. That guy, Bob, uh, Bob, forget it, forget Robert. it, forget it, forget it. It's a four letter word. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure I could put up with him anymore, but, but Bill Finger is really the guy who developed Batman. He was the brains, the writer behind it. We know that. Bill never got the credit. He was an unsung hero. And when I'd be in Manhattan, and particularly if I was over at DC, I'd always ask if Bill was around. He wasn't around too often, but when he was, I'd always take him out to dinner. I loved Bill. He's the guy that helped to shape the entire comic book history. And Bill had something else. A lot of those guys that you just mentioned, they didn't, or they couldn't remember a lot of names and dates and places and incidents, you know, because they happened so far in the past they were probably drunk at the time. <laughs> I'm not making any excuses for them. But Bill had the, had the kind of memory that I would call photographic. You know, like those crime stories, somebody has a photographic memory. There is no such thing. But Bill knew, and I'll tell you how. I would ask him questions that I knew the answers for, just to see if he was right, you know, in, in the target. And he was right there. He remembered. And this was Bill. At the end of every dinner, he'd say, hey, Jim, can you loan me a couple of bucks till next week? I might not see Bill for another six months. But I don't think, no, I don't have to think about it. There wasn't a time that I didn't hand over two or three twenties to him just to get by for the next couple of days. He was always broke. And I'm not exactly sure why, because Bill did not live high, as far as I know. Maybe he was keeping a woman at the Y. <laughs> I, 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 I can't say. But, but if there was one guy that, that deserves, uh, and, he, and he is getting credit now. There's a couple of books on him. I think there's a, uh, I think there's a documentary on Bill. Mm -hmm. I should have been in that documentary, and they asked me many times. I just couldn't take the time to do it. Couldn't take a day or two out of my life to get there. I just couldn't, I just couldn't manage it. But I think Bill will eventually get the kind of credit that he deserves with or without me. I think I'm the only guy who ever actually interviewed Bill Finger. But I think history will bear out his contribution, massive contribution to the form.